What's up, Dice Crew? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, look, I just tuned in to this, like, uh, verbal exchange between Big Folks and Munchie B. If y'all not familiar with who Big Folks is, Big Folks is a, a Chicago native. You know, he run around with Ben Man Kevo. You know, he done been on No Jumper, Academics. I think he even launched his own podcast. Then if y'all not familiar with Munchie B, you know, he's like, uh, he's from Inglewood. He's, uh, you know, we got a street background, same as big folks. And uh, also he got some rap that he do, like he, he do rap. Now he's doing podcasts. So then you got a dude that go by the name of Rockstar2800. And he kind of like be doing like a, a clubhouse type thing, you know what I mean? And be having a gang of people talking and, you know, debating and doing whatever the case may be. So, you know, shout out to him. You know, it's over there at uh, Smut Free TV. That's where the whole video was at, you know what I mean? So y'all can tune in with that with no interruptions. But the whole thing was about an hour. So I didn't even really want to just do a reaction on it or whatever, because I don't know what that would have turned my video into, like an hour and a half or something, maybe. So I just chose to just watch it and um, try to gather everything I could gather from it. So then I could just create a video and I could just speak on it and break down certain things I felt about the situation. Right. Because obviously, you know, I'm always interested for the most part on whatever Munchie B got going on and with what big folks got going on. Like, big folks for me, and, you know, it's not me. Like, I don't know none of them dudes personally, so it's nothing, like, personally about nothing. But for me, it's like big folks, I put him in the category as, like, a, um, and this is not saying, like, with no disrespect, but I put big folks in the same category as a person like Wack 100, Charleston White, Adam 22. Like, with him... I won't even say so much kind of like with Adam, but he's definitely like Charleston White and WAC 100. And it's like, what I mean by that is like, you really can't get no win by messing with those type of individuals. You know what I mean? Because you don't even know if they looking to win a battle or if they just trying to create content or they just trying to get a rouse out of people or that's just what it is. But far as the verbals and that, tongue wrestling and all that type of stuff those three individuals is just masters at it you know so if you're not trying to be you know maybe intoxicated or feeling like uh indulging with a a a, a funny slash like very aggressive angry situation and you can't take just like the fun in it then I wouldn't even indulge with those type of individuals you know what I'm saying because it seemed like they just got that internet stuff down packed uh, you know, they, you know, and they all older at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I think they all like in their forties and stuff like that. So, you know, they come from a different time, whatever. They got a little knowledge and that be that. So on the entertaining side, like I said, I can always tune in to see what big folks is finna do or whatever. Cause he's unpredictable. He gonna say whatever he's off the wall. So, you know, I give him his flowers today. He, if he trying to be entertaining, he definitely is entertaining, you know? <clears throat> And the same with Munchie, you know, when it comes to not the same with Munchie, but for with Munchie, eight out of 10, most of the time, it seemed like he going to always have like a, a real outlook on something, you know, like kind of keep it as street as he can keep it about certain stuff. So I'm always tuned in with that type of stuff, too. So when I ran across these two dudes supposed to having a heated exchange, the way it was titled on a uh, smut free TV, I was like, man, I got to see what's up with this. So when I tuned in, the whole situation is pretty much based over the girl that uh, had to fight with uh, with another girl over there at Spider Log Podcast, you know, and it's all it's all about like that girl. Um, what's her name? I don't know why I forgot her name. Whatever her name is, but the girl is supposed to be like a. Uh, got a daughter that's, you know, prostituting and she like 13 years old and whatnot, you know, and, uh, big folks approach and it was other people in that clubhouse room, you know, when it, you know, in that clubhouse, it'd be a gang of people speaking, but big folks was pretty much saying like, why was Munchie B and Spider Loke so into that mother and she got a plate full of stuff she need to be working on when it comes to trying to get her daughter off the streets. 
You know, they like you helping the girl get on the podcast when you should be telling her like, no, nah, I don't want to hang with you and do no podcast with you. You need to be out there trying to save your kid. And I totally agree with uh, 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 big folks about that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like big folks was speaking about a real like he was giving out some great advice on the possibility on what should probably actually be uh, should be taking place in these streets. You know what I mean? Like he was saying, like, you know, the the original reason for all these groups and organizations and gangs was to help the community and police the police. And he was saying, ain't no way everybody should be running around here seeing a 13, 14 year old girl selling herself on the streets and don't nobody make it hard for her. And what he meant by that was like, hey, you can't do it here in my hood. You know, you can't do that here in my hood. And he was saying like, this is how certain people should do and carry themselves. You know what I mean? And I and I and I agree with that approach. You know what I mean? Like, if that was the way we could kind of make it happen overall in in these streets, then I'm all for that too. You know, that makes perfect sense. But on on Munchie B plan, on on a Munchie B hand. I feel like Munchie B was just speaking more on the reality of what's going on in life. Like, you know, it been going on for decades, forever. You know, like Munchie B was pointing out, like, she ain't the only 13, 14 year old, 15 year old, whatever, young child out here lost. You know, they were saying that she be running away. She don't want to be at home. You know, plus Munchie B is more privy to background information that I don't think everybody in Clubhouse is privy to. Like Munchie B was saying, like, you know, she got like three other kids in the system and, you know, not and that's not including the one that's running around here trying to be in the streets. You feel me? So I get what he was saying by that. Like, you know, he was saying he was just trying to help her in what he could help her in because she seemed like she's trying to be. Uh, create some type of career in music or whatever it is. He's just trying to help her, you know, grow in any way he can. Because sometimes that's how you help a person. And that's the only way you can help a person. Then you can only help them in the only way that you can help them. You feel me? But I also have seen uh, Bam for Fun Hood. You know what I mean? He has spoke on that too on his live stream. You know, he was calling uh, Spider Low instigating. Uh, instigator, he was saying like, why would you be interviewing a girl who don't even got her stuff together and all kind of stuff? You know? be held accountable for the contest that they having these brothers put out. You get these dudes on my mama, mama. Stop instigating shit, Spider Lope. That's what you're doing, homie. You one of the number one instigators on YouTube. I hate to put you out there, but Spider Lope do a lot of instigating. Then when he get caught up. Hey, I apologize on my mama, mama. I'm wrong. No, stop doing that, brother. Stop instigating. Start using the platform for something positive. This ain't no rap song you're doing. This is reality TV. You creating more drama than some of these other busters. And I ain't calling you that. I don't even want to put you in that category. But Spider Loke is one of the number one instigators on YouTube. You understand what I'm saying? One of the number one instigators on YouTube. You want to belittle a man on how he parents and how he talk to his kid's mama, but you ain't helping him get go to parenting class, nor you insinuate, indicating that you want to assist the dumb dude, Snoopy Badass, who wanted to go to a parenting school. Don't use them. Don't explore them. That's what the white folks be doing. They explore us. So don't you be caught up in the same boat as them, exploding your own. You understand what I'm saying? Why would you want to put a girl on your platform to talk when she, she, she don't even know how to be a mother? She can't represent her kids. How can she represent herself? Let's stop instigating this shit, man. Let's stop instigating this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Let's start making things better. You feel me? We got to do better than what the fuck we doing. We point the finger at the white boy and the Hispanic boy, but look what the fuck we doing to each other. We just as guilty as them. Then we get mad because they throwing lugs and shades at us. All oh, because these dudes want to be clout chasing. All oh, because these dudes want subscribers and viewers. See that? You no, know, and I get it at the end of the day. But we really don't know what's the reason behind what Spider Loke or Munchie B was trying to do, pretending to create that situation, you know, for that interview or whatever the case may be with that girl in the um on the other podcast. And between the heated exchange, 
I feel like it's a lot of stuff that, you know, Munchie probably can't come back from and big folks probably can't come back from it. I'm not saying that neither one of them want to come back from it. You know what I'm saying? And neither am I saying that either one of them can't handle whatever they might have to face. But it went down the path of like, uh, you know, big folks. It's like pretty much sliding Los Angeles and, you know, kind of like beat little in Los Angeles to a certain degree. Then you had that, you know, Munchie B started like be little in Chicago and stuff like that. I mean, Munchie B even like uh, brought up the situation with King Von, like, you know, talking about how you acting like you homosexual, trying to roll up from the, from roll up, roll, uh, 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 roll up and get moved from uh, the location you already in, in jail, and you trying to avoid confrontation. So it went down that path, you know, and. I just feel like it was a whole lot of disrespect getting talks tossed around. You know, big folks start making fun of uh, uh, Munchie B, can't see. Uh, you know, they start making threats about each other. You know, they went to Jike belittling like the Bloods and belittling the GDs. Like just, you know, that's just where it was going at the end of the day. You feel me? And you can see that it was like a half and half room situation. Like half the room was definitely understanding what much you were saying. And half the people in the room was kind of understanding what big folks were saying. And I feel like it wasn't really no wrong or right. I just feel like it was just like two great two approaches. That's just coming from two realities, like two different realities. Like I said, I feel like Munchie B is speaking from the reality. Like, man, it's a lot of people out here. You know, how many times do you see a person running around here and trying to save a kid? Then Munchie B was pointed out. I mean, and then big folks were just pointed out like, man, you know, they ain't nothing cool about that. You know, for y'all to be interacting with this lady and she ain't handling her affairs. You know, y'all should be picking her up somewhere trying to find her kid. You know, it was just all over the place like that. But that's just how I feel about it. You know, I just feel like they had some great points, man. And maybe one day in these streets in society, maybe we will come to some solutions um, that can better the community when we got lo uh, lost children out here not knowing no better. Maybe we can. You know what I mean? But then on the other hand, the streets have always been the streets and it be what it be at the end of the day, you know. I just feel like we can't necessarily hold Munchie or Spider Low totally accountable for these situations that this lady is going through. You know what I mean? And like Munchie B was saying, like his kids is straight. He was saying his daughter is straight. He handled his affairs and he doing the best thing he can. What's his direct business? And I can't take that away from him as well. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to touch on that real brief. You know, just speak on that. And um, hopefully y'all was able to go over there and watch that over there as much T uh, Smut Free TV and get a whole, uh, uh, watch the whole thing for yourself or hear the whole thing for yourself, I should say, so y'all can get y'all own opinion about it. It was like all over the place. I know I'm kind of like rumbling around, I guess, but that's just how I feel, man. You know, I feel like it was a sensitive topic. And who knows what the future going to hold. And I just be looking at it sometimes like I don't really be liking when street situations start being like I don't like when situations might take a turn for it to be a possibility of a problem in the streets off some content or some Internet stuff. You know what I mean? And, you know, they was arguing over that, too. Like both of them was calling each other Internet dudes and stuff like that. And it's like. <clears throat> At the end of the day, everybody is some internet type of dudes. Like once you wanna once you run a podcast or you get paid from the internet or you running your Instagram or YouTube channel or whatever you call yourself doing, clubhouse, then you are a individual that take place in being an internet type of person. That's just how I feel. So Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. And I'm going to get with y'all in the next video. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Shout out to Big Folks. Shout out to Munchie B, Smut Free TV, Spider Low. You know, shout out to everybody in the room. And I'm going to get with y'all in the next video. I'm out.